Hello viewers and welcome to my channel, Review Information. In this video I will show you, how to enable or disable Gboard floating keyboard, on Android. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified any updates. Google's Keyboard app, Gboard, has a lot of cool features. One of such great feature is floating keyboard, using which, you are able to make the keyboard float, resize, and move on the screen. Watch this full video to learn, how to enable or disable Gboard floating keyboard, on Android. Before you proceed to further step, make sure you have the latest version of Gboard app. Now, to activate the floating Gboard keyboard, open any application, where you want to type. Make sure, the Gboard keyboard is selected as the default keyboard. Now tap on the arrow icon, on the top left of the keyboard. You will get various options. Then tap on the three dots from the right. Here you will see a few other options, just tap on the floating option. Now tap on the screen. That's it. Your keyboard will now be floating. You can use the 4-way arrow icon in the bottom of the keyboard, to drag and move the keyboard wherever you want. When you tap on the 4-way arrow icon, the corners will be highlighted. You can drag these corner, to resize the keyboard, like make it smaller or bigger. Once you enable floating keyboard, every time you use keyboard, the keyboard will be floating. If you want to disable the floating keyboard, just the drag and move the keyboard to the bottom of the screen, using the 4-way arrow icon in the bottom. If you use the floating keyboard quite often, you can use the option to suggestion strip, on the top of the keyboard, so that you can use it in one less tap. Tap on the three dots from the right. Just drag the floating option to the suggestion. From here, you can easily use the floating keyboard. So in this way, you can enable or disable Gboard floating keyboard, on Android. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Please subscribe my channel for more videos. Goodbye.